Stop number seven, Surf City El Salvador Pro at Punta Roca. A really, really good wave too. An amazing wave, let's be honest. It's got the cobblestone rocks along the shoreline. Nasty, <laughs> nasty things to walk in and out of. But, you know, they've got the Mama Roca, which is a big rock that sticks out a little bit. Don't hit that. That's, that's not good. What are the judges going to be looking for now that we're at a long right-hand point break? They're going to be looking for the full criteria because this wave allows everything in the criteria to be done. There's going to be variety and innovation in the surfing. There's going to be combinations of major manoeuvres. There's going to be barrels. There's going to be power surfing. There's going to be aerials. There's going to be the whole lot. The whole kit and caboodle is on display here and the judges are going to analyse very critically to get that best score. So the judges aren't going to hand out the scores willy-nilly. They're going to go, this is a high quality wave with multiple sections and we want to see flat out surfing to get those high scores. The surfers that can utilize that space and show the judges that they're able to do multiple turns and not all the same turn, the judge is going to sit up a little bit straighter and go, well, that was a really innovative and, and progressive way that wave was surfed. Now that we're into this new format after our mid-season cut, where you have to now surf for first in that first round. Up until the mid-season cut, if you got into second place, you still progress through into the third round. Now, if you get second in, in that very first round, you're in the elimination round. As we saw in Grudgingen, no one wants to be in that elimination round because every heat is a really, really hard heat. And a bad result in the elimination round in the race to the final five is a shocker. So what that does by making surfers surf for first rather than surfing just for second is it lifts the performance level up. That is a really good thing for surfing because that's what the fans want to see. We want to see the best surfers in the wave doing the most amazing surfing. We don't want to see them going through the motions just to surf for second, so to be safe, because safe surfing doesn't cut it at this level. We want to see the best surfers in the world going flat out so that they don't go into that round. So expect it. Punta Roca, some fantastic surfing. Don't hit Mama Roca <laughs> and have a great time.